Domain names are virtual real estate, but unlike real estate in the real world where people kind of understand the value of their properties within reason anyway, and where people look after the deeds of their properties or their lawyers do, and where people understand when their leases are pretty much coming to an end, it's not the same with the domain name world because domain names are totally misunderstood. Now, understanding the full life cycle of a domain name plays a major role in spotting opportunities where others don't. Now, the life cycle of a domain name can vary between different country codes. For example, the UK has a different life cycle system. We're going to concentrate on generic top level domain names, which are .coms, .orgs, .nets, and we've used information to create this life cycle from ICANN's website. ICANN um, is I-C-A-N-N, and it stands for the Internet Corporation of Assigned Names and Numbers, and they're basically the global coordinators of domain names. Now, it can vary also between registrars. Um, so it's important that you check the terms and conditions of your registrar and also it can be at the discretion of registrars as well so just always make sure you check the terms and conditions so let's take a look at the main domain life cycle so if a domain name is available it can be registered for between one and ten years and then if it's not re-registered at the end of this period it hits what's known as its expired phase. Now if the registered owner keeps the contact details up to date with the registrar then the registrar will usually bombard them with loads of emails before this happens just letting them know that there's a kind of expiration around the corner and they need to renew the domain or, or transfer it. And It doesn't necessarily mean that the registrant loses the domain at this point because most registrars will allow it to go into what's known as auto renew grace period which means for the next 45 days you can still renew it and you can still transfer it if you'd like to. If they don't renew or transfer at the end of this 45 days then their website and any associated email with that website will go down. Now again this can vary between registrars so make sure you check your terms and conditions. It'll then move into what's known as its redemption grace period for the next 30 days which means some registrars will allow you to redeem the domain name um, but it will usually cost you quite a bit more to do so. If it's not renewed by the end of these 30 days then the registrant will lose the actual domain name and then it'll hit its pending delete stage for the next five days where it kind of sits in no man's land really uh, where no one can get their hands on it and then at the end of this period it becomes available again. Now there's opportunities to acquire or backorder domain names throughout this whole life cycle and the main areas are new domains, aged domains, deleting domains and deleted domains. Now most people are only aware that you can register new domain names, they're totally unaware that there are dynamite domains way beyond this point. So understanding the whole life cycle plays a huge part in seeing opportunities where others don't. And it allows you to capitalize on the various different life cycle stages so that you can maximize your SEO advantage and acquire dynamite domain names to help you dominate your niche.